What's up you guys, your boy Quicksand back with another video. Today's Thursday, January 21st, and I'm gonna run you guys through a workout of my own. So I'm gonna do four different moves. I'm gonna use, two of the moves are gonna use the slam ball, the third move is gonna be jump rope, and then the fourth move is gonna be on the Dr. Dish shooting machine. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna go grab all the stuff that I need, and we'll get started. Quick disclaimer, there may be a little less talking in this video and more working out because I don't have a lot of time. I have maybe 40 minutes until my next session, so it's going to be a quick hitter. I may put words if necessary, but I will try to come back and talk to you guys as needed. I just did 12 repetitions, one, two, three, four, five, all the way to 12. Deep breath as you're picking the ball up and slamming as hard as you can, using your obliques, using the middle of your stomach, your core, getting your hips turning, pivoting your feet. Everything is important. All the small, intricate movements lead to a lot of good success on the basketball court, any sport you're doing. Next one's gonna be the shuffle and toss. Twenty pound ball. All right, so I just did three repetitions. Well, six of them, right? So I came back and forth three times. Two, four, six. Six, right? Two, four, six. <laughs> Yo, I'm losing my mind. It's hot out here. All right, so I did six repetitions total. Now I'm resting. I'm gonna give it a minute rest, and I'm gonna get into the jump ropes. Deep breathing. Hydrate too. All right, so now it's the jump rope time. I'm gonna do 30 seconds of jump roping on the left leg, 30 seconds on the right, and then 30 seconds with both legs. The key that I'm trying to aim for is to not let my heels touch the floor. So I'm trying to be springy the entire time, all the way through the calf muscles, the Achilles, and I'm trying to work on my ankle strength and the foot strength as well. So check it out, 30, 30, 30.
you're breathing through your nose, all the way to your stomach, hold it, release. The last thing I'm gonna do is shoot. So I'm gonna put the shooting machine on and I'm gonna get some repetitions on my form. As I said, the next segment is gonna be for shooting. So I'm gonna put the shooting machine on, but we're gonna get some shooting off to the dribble. Okay, so I'm gonna use these cones from Impossible Training. These cones hold you accountable for staying low in your movements. The example of it is, say I'm gonna do a between the leg move. I go between the legs and I grab the cone. And as I'm grabbing the cone, my shoulder is low. So if the defender's in front of me, my shoulder is by their hip, and they're gonna to have to get low in order to, to stop me from going by them, okay? So you'll see it as I go. I'm gonna go for three makes going right, three makes going left, and then I'm gonna cycle all throughout the workout again. So here it is. All right, so I made three and three on this side. Now I'm gonna put the machine on a little bit faster. I'm just gonna get spot up three point shots from the NBA line. Okay, so that's it. Check it out. So the one thing you can't control is the weather. When the wind is going crazy, you still just have to shoot through it. You gotta have that shooter's mentality of the next shot, all right? There's a lot of shots that were missing left and right, and it was getting frustrating, but you just gotta do everything, all the small details. Make sure you have good balance. Make sure your core is tight. Make sure that you have your hand underneath the ball. You're following through at the top position, and that's all you can ask for. Other thing too, as far as the way I'm shooting it, 
I'm catching with my left hand and stepping into that into that shot over the guy, over the defender. I can't see over the defender. He's taller than me, obviously, so as soon as I jump, then I'm able to see, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. But other than that, I'm gonna get back into the beginning of the workout, and then we're gonna cycle to those workouts one more time. If we don't have those ankle weights on the bottom, but that guy, he goes flying. So that's how you know the wind is hitting hard. And this is like average, you know, it's just, it happens often, but it is what it is. You gotta deal with it. I go to another 20 seconds. I don't know how close I need to be for you guys to be able to hear me better, but I'm gonna use a 25 pound ball instead of 20 pound ball when I'm doing the tosses and the shuffle. So check it out. Everything's good. You guys okay? Hey, go grab a snack, protein bar, grab some water, some kale chips, something good, all right? back and forth. Now I'm breathing, resting. I'm gonna grab some water, and then I'm gonna grab my jump rope. 30 seconds left leg, 30 seconds right leg, 30 seconds on both feet. Don't let your heels touch the floor. Be springy, springy, springy. Like you're a spring, literally. You wanna be able to push the spring down, and then it holds the power, it coils up, and then boom. Okay, that's how you wanna be as an athlete. As anyone, really, you wanna be just as strong as that. All right, so that's it. Let me grab some water, get into the jump ropes, and we'll move on. My legs are done. Deep breathing, deep breathing. My heart is pumping. Let me get some shooting. And I only have, so I have eight minutes left on the timer that I put for myself, but I feel like I have way less than that. So I just checked the time and I have roughly four minutes left. Uh, I checked the actual clock on my, on my phone and I have less time than I have on the timer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot for the last four minutes and I'm just gonna get constant repetition. 
the shoot, shoot, shoot. I want to get all the misses out of the way and get as many makes as possible, of course. So I'm going to count the makes in my head. And um, that's the key for shooters. You got to keep shooting. Shoot every single day. And, you know, constant repetition is the path to progression. Nipsey Hussle said that in a song. And he's a genius, so you got to listen to the listen to the people who, who have made it happen. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. I'm going to grab some water real quick and we'll put the machine on. And then when my client comes, maybe you get to see him for a second. And then I'll do the outro and we'll be out of here, all right? Thank you for being around. Like, comment, subscribe if you're liking this content. And uh, share with people. Share with a friend. That's all I ask. I can already tell that I'm off balance on almost all my shots, so I gotta get it right. And I'm also just fatigued, <laughs> holy dang. What was that? Yo, these aren't basketball shoes, these are training shoes. So when I do sharp moves, like right there, I almost busted my ankle. Wear the proper shoes. Bucket. Hopefully I go viral with the cat in the window. You see him? He's going crazy. All right, I'm just gonna do two more, two more. <clears throat> All right, I'm just gonna do two more makes. My client just got here. He's probably gonna see me get these makes and then I'm gonna end the video. <sighs> Alright, that's how I'm gonna end the video. He's literally walking to the door right now. I ended it very simple. This game is this game gets easy the more you practice it. Um actually can you turn the machine off please? Mateo, Mateo just walked in the building. We all love Mateo here. You're gonna see him in the vlog soon. Uh, but yeah, so that's how we're gonna end the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the workout. It's very quick, 45 minutes less. 
everything was just with intention of transferring over to basketball for me, right? Just getting the core, getting the core ready, getting the hips ready, strong, and then obviously the shooting is just repetition. So hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next vlog with you know my next client, which is gonna be Mateo, maybe on Saturday. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Let's tap out.